incredible shrinking U.S. deficit. Flat out, the deficit's improved. It's good, good news. Why are we so miserable? It, I'm just struck by how much the deficit continues to dominate the conversation. Uh, and maybe back, you know, 2009, it was 10% of GDP, unsustainably sure. high. It should have. Uh, we just saw the last, uh, the most recent year, 4.1% of GDP. Uh, the, so the deficit today, is it the same level as it averaged under President Reagan? or his successor, President Bush. A lot of people talk about a need for more stimulus. Paul Krugman leading the charge, maybe Brad DeLong out at Berkeley as well. Matt Shapiro at your Michigan has done terrific work saying, eh, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Does stimulus work? Uh, in fact, I think Matt, I read Matt's work as saying that, in fact, it does. Um, I think it was a really good question to ask four or five years ago. The economics profession was caught flat-footed when the Great Recession happened. Mm -hmm. we, didn't have a, we hadn't been thinking about fiscal policy in a long time. We had a massive experiment uh, with the Stimulus Act. Stimulus Act had different effects in different states, in different countries, uh, through time. And I think what we've learned since then has actually substantially strengthened the case that fiscal policy can be a part of the solution to a cyclical downturn. How do you teach economics at Michigan different? You're of the old DSGE, lots of math, lots of models, uh, garb. All that was sort of kind of like wrong. What's the new economics for Justin Wolfers? So at Michigan, we're an intensely empirical place uh, where we, uh, we generate data there, we crunch data. And what we want to do is use economic theory as a lens for processing data. The, mm -hmm. the challenge our students are going to face is very different than the one you and I faced. We grew up in an era where, you grew up in an era where, data was scarce. I'm growing up in an era, and my students are growing up in an era, when there's a tidal wave of information coming at them. Right. What they need is economics as a framework for interpreting that data and uh, generating insight. Are you seeing that insight from Washington right now? Oh, my chinga. It's the most depressing What time. did you say? By Jingo. By Jingo. That's an Australian. I don't even know what. Can we say that on television? I'm pretty sure you okay. can. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of the most depressing times to be an economist. There's an enormous disconnect between what we as a profession think we know about how to run an economy and what the clowns in Washington are doing. I've never seen the disconnect any larger than it currently is.